Bitcoin versus Ethereum 2023. Similarities, differences, and which one is a better investment? Bitcoin, BTC, and Ethereum, ET Gate, are the Coke and Pepsi of cryptocurrency. They are the biggest names in crypto, and their combined market capitalization equals more than 60% of the $1 trillion crypto market. The performance of BTC and ETH often serves as a benchmark to gauge the overall health of the crypto market. Despite their dominance, these cryptos function very differently from one another. Let's take a deeper look at how Bitcoin and Ethereum compare. How Bitcoin and Ethereum compare. Bitcoin and Ethereum are fundamentally different beasts. The former is the first cryptocurrency, designed as a store of value and medium of exchange, but today mostly employed as a speculative risk asset. The latter was designed as a decentralized computing network, which had given rise to the decentralized finance, DeFi, space. Ethereum also enables payments using its internal ETH cryptocurrency, but its scope is much broader than Bitcoin by design. Both systems use blockchain technology to validate and record transactions. Still, forthcoming changes to Ethereum, commonly referred to as Ethereum 2.0, should significantly update the crypto speed, sustainability, and accessibility. One major difference between Bitcoin and Ethereum is the consensus mechanisms they employ to run their respective blockchains. Featured Partner Offers What is a consensus mechanism? A consensus mechanism is a type of algorithm used to run a blockchain. The main goal of any consensus mechanism is to solve what's known as the double spend problem. Once you spend a $20 bill, it no longer belongs to you. You cannot spend it a second time. Before Bitcoin, the trouble with the digital currency concept is that they were all just strings of computer code and could be copied infinitely and spent twice or countless times. Bitcoin's consensus mechanism blockchain was designed to solve the double spending problem. It employs validators to ensure that each crypto unit can only be spent once and to record each transaction on a distributed ledger for all of the worlds to see. Since everyone can see identical copies of the Bitcoin blockchain, nobody can copy and paste their digital money and spend it twice. Doctoring one transaction is hard enough but you'd also have to change every subsequent transaction since each one references its forerunners. There are two main consensus mechanisms employed by cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin uses the proof-of-work mechanism, while Ethereum is moving toward a proof-of-stake consensus mechanism. Proof-of-work Proof-of-work requires validators to solve complex math problems. They compete for the chance to be chosen to validate a new batch of transactions and add them to the blockchain, earning a set amount of crypto in the process. In the early days of Bitcoin, validators were largely amateur hobbyists. Still, as the math problems in the Bitcoin proof-of-work system have become more challenging, the amount of processing power needed to solve each one has increased exponentially. Bitcoin mining is largely handled by specialized companies who can afford the expensive Bitcoin mining rigs and the energy needed to run them. Proof-of-work systems like Bitcoin have also drawn criticism for the amount of energy expended by the computer hardware involved. According to the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance, Bitcoin's electricity consumption exceeds Norway's annual electricity consumption at an annualized rate of 127 terawatt hours. T audio. Proof of stake. Proof of stake requires validators to stake their crypto holdings to earn the chance to validate transactions and add blocks to the blockchain. The more crypto someone stakes, the greater their chances of being chosen to validate a block of transactions to a blockchain and earning a set amount of crypto. The system also discourages bad actors with financial penalties. Proof of stake stacks the deck in favor of people with more money, but protects against people adding fraudulent records to the blockchain. Without the need for powerful computer hardware, proof of stake is considered a more environmentally friendly consensus mechanism than proof of work. Decentralized payments versus decentralized software. Bitcoin was originally developed for decentralized payments. At the outset, the original cryptocurrency's designers wanted to help people to send and receive payments without an intermediary, such as a bank. Ethereum, on the other hand, was designed to be a distributed computing platform. The designers of Ethereum built the platform to provide a foundation for running decentralized software programs, which have become known as smart contracts and distributed apps, dApps. She comes with multiple swimming pools, a helipad, a massage room, a swimming platform, a movie theater, a gym, 
and a jacuzzi. The Radiant is also equipped with a highly powerful water cannon to defend herself from pirate attacks. 7. Dubai $400 million Dubai is owned by the Sheikh of Dubai, Mohammed Rashid Al Maktoum. Some of its features include jacuzzis, a swimming pool with handmade tiles, a helipad, and a striking circular glass staircase that changes color when lit from above. Dubai also houses the split-level owner's deck, several VIP and social areas, guest suites, and a crew of up to 115 people. 6. Motor Yacht A $440 million This very impressive-looking 390-foot superyacht was built by Blom Plus Voss Shipyard and launched in 2008. It's thought to be owned by Andrei Melnichenko, a Russian billionaire businessman and philanthropist. Motor Yacht A can accommodate 14 guests and 42 crew members, and is around 400 feet long. It features a 2,500 scoff master bedroom, a disco, a helicopter hangar, a separate 30-foot speedboat, and a glass-bottomed swimming pool. 5. Topaz $527 million Coming in at number 5 is this stunning Lorsen-built superyacht, Topaz. She was built for Abu Dhabi Tycoon, Sheikh Mansour bin Zayed Al Nanyan in Germany, and launched in 2012. The exterior was designed by Tim Haywood, and Terence Disdale Design did the interior. It has a large jacuzzi on the main deck, a swimming pool, double helicopter landing pads, and a state-of-the-art gym, cinema, and conference room. 4. Azam $600 million This 590-foot megayacht is the world's largest yacht to date. It's owned by Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Mayan, President of the United Arab Emirates and Emir of Abu Dhabi. Lorsen Yachts are the ones behind this mega build. Adzam has its very own missile defense system, a bulletproof master suite, and can reach speeds of more than 30 knots, or 35 miles per hour, making it one of the fastest yachts on the planet. 3. Streets of Monaco $1 billion The first billion-dollar yacht on our list is the Streets of Monaco. By far one of the most impressive and expensive yachts in the world, once finished, the Streets of Monaco is going to be a 509-foot mega yacht designed to feature miniature versions of some of Monaco's and Monte Carlos's most renowned landmarks. The finished superyacht will include a go-kart circuit, three swimming pools, a mini submarine helipad, seven guest suites, a mini waterfall, and a restaurant that with a fabulous underwater view. 2. Eclipse $1.5 billion The second most expensive yacht in the world, Eclipse, is owned by Roman Abramovich. The Russian billionaire has spared no expense when it comes to his superyacht. He's installed a private defense system, including missile detection sensors, intruder alarms and armor plating, and bulletproof windows in his master bedroom. On top of that, Eclipse has two helipads, two swimming pools, 24 guest bedrooms, a disco hall, and a mini submarine. It's unclear how much Eclipse actually cost, but it is believed to be in the region of $1.5 billion. 1. History Supreme $4.8 billion Topping the list of the most expensive superyachts in the world at an eye-watering $4.8 billion is History Supreme. This magnificent accomplishment is built from 10,000 kilograms of solid gold and platinum and is 100 feet long. It was designed by Stuart Hughes, a world-renowned luxury designer, for Malaysia's richest man, Robert Nock. The History Supreme took roughly three years to build and features an array of luxury items. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. Before you go please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.